Well, I just came out here just a minute ago. I had to run back inside and get my camera because I haven't been checking this regularly. I knew they were supposed to lay eggs, but it's been a little while, about three days since I've checked. And to my surprise, not the yellow one, I know what you're thinking, what the crap? We have some eggs. And looks like they got a little bit wet. All right, the reason I have the reason I have the yellow one here is I saw someone say, oh, don't you fly out of here. I saw, saw someone say, thinking, what are you doing to my eggs? If you leave the yellow one in there, see, they're supposed to basically stay happy that they have one in there. It's more of a psychology thing, I guess you'd say. But it just keeps them happy that you're not taking all their eggs. And I looked in this one, there's nothing in there. Actually, and the way I've got this, there's two different bays on the outside. They're sleeping in this one and this one. I don't understand that. I thought they'd have been inside roosting or something else, but they're laying the eggs so far in these two and nothing in them. But they're doing good. I got a little water bowl here because we've had temperatures up into the 95, so it's gotten real hot. I got my standard water stir over there. <laughs> I want to be on YouTube. I want to be on YouTube. got upset up in there in the house but it was getting real hot so I had to put this down here this little water bowl which they're actually using it what are you doing they're actually using that and I see them sometimes just almost just walking in it just see they actually drink out of it so it helps out in case that right there accidentally tips over in the middle of the day you know just whatever I actually got three waters now I got that other blue one over there and of course I still got their their feeder over there you just went inside. I got their feeder over there, and I'm gonna have to. The, if you've seen my other video where the hole is, it was actually too small. Their little uh, mohawk. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not allowing them to fit in there. They've gotten so much larger, and I didn't think about that when I built it. So I'm designing another one with a bigger hole to make it a little bit easier on them to eat. But they're still getting it out of there, and the spill, the spillage is down to hardly anything. But I'm going to make it a little bit bigger where they can almost eat two at a time. Say hello. Hello. And what you're seeing in there, that's, that's leftover pizza. They get pizza too. It's just the crust. And they like it. As you can see, they're not very hungry. They're not even eating it. It's been in there since yesterday. I think that's my dominant one. He's the darkest one, and he's the bully. Yeah, he gets all excited. He's calling his mohawk. I'm sure there's a proper name to it, but it's a lot cleaner, taller than the others. So he says, I'm pretty, I know it. This is what I came for. Free eggs. And this is about two weeks after. Now they're laying just regular. I get about two a day, I say an average. Um, one of my chickens I don't think are laying yet. They're just later, I guess they're supposed to do that. I have four chickens. Um, but this is how I'm labeling it. I messed up on you know, this right here. What I'm doing is, of course, start or old eggs, and what you do is you start here, and you'll just go down. So if you're going to have, you know, six eggs, you'll start here and run down, and of course, these are the newer ones. And the same thing, I'm starting over here. We're getting so many, we can't keep, you know, actually, we can't eat them. I don't eat them that fast, so. But this is our easiest way to and just remember, you know, which ones, did, on which day did I get. So you don't start, of course, over here, because these are the newer ones. You start here, these are the oldest eggs. 
but they're doing pretty good two average you know some days i get lucky and get three um some people have said they need more sunlight um eight to nine hours on an average of sunlight and i don't know if they're getting that with that shade tree so that could be affecting them that's why i'm not getting you know four a day but still happy it's, you know free eggs okay here's my new five gallon bucket I built this one just like I did the last one in the last video, except like I said, this one's a lot larger. It's four inches. And what I mean by four inches is four inches overall. It's the other one they can't get their head in it no more. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I can still use it for you know smaller chickens when I'm raising them, but this one they have a lot of room to put their head in, you know, to get the grain. But the same thing, I siliconed it in. Now I like this bucket a lot better. It's a lot heavier duty. Um, I did get the other one at Lowe's and this one at Lowe's, but this one is the uh let's see there it is it's the heavy duty and i like the bpa free you know never know that might help out if you can find a square one which i looked everywhere tractor supply everything and, I, and a square one that would have been a lot easier to mount that in you know on a level surface but i mean it still works here and this will last forever um there's nothing really to tear up they use it very well and like i said it does cut down on as far as you know waste because when they stick their face in there they can't actually throw it out it'll be a little bit here left on the lip or maybe just a little on the ground but it does cut it down by a tremendous amount and saves you a lot i have four chickens and i fill it up to about you know a half inch from the top you know the more they eat the more this thing will go and it more or less funnels around and on the bottom i have one of those like i said funnels around it just funnels completely around this and it lands here and they stick their face in through and they'll pack it out of here and this is an easy i'd say inch and a half two inches i didn't mean to put that slant on it and that's just the way it worked out actually it works well for rain you know rain won't be able to drop in there you can put another roof on just like i did my last one i'm not going to do this one like that because instead of it sitting like this on the outside where the rain can actually get to it i'm going to have it spun around on the nail it's going to be under the house to where it keeps the water off of it and they seem to hang out underneath there and more anyway but same thing basically as my last one just much larger so afterthought wasn't thinking right but there you go thanks for watching